Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at how we can align the datum, the X0, Y0, Z0, with our part geometry. Okay, this is important to make sure that we have the correct CNC code. And you might want to use these techniques if, for example, your customer provides you with um, a DXF file, IGES, SolidWorks, or some file like that. You load it into 1CNC and then realize that the datum's in, uh, not in the right location. Now there's actually two approaches to this. One technique is to move the geometry uh, so that the datum's lined up correctly. And the other technique is to actually move the datum to the part to make sure everything's all lined up. Now I'll demonstrate both techniques. Let's take a look at moving the geometry first. Now within 1CNC, if you want to move something, if you want to rotate, scale, mirror, you've got to select it first. Uh, these are your selection tools up here. You can use any of these commands that are appropriate if you want. Or you can simply hit just Control A, Control Alpha on your keyboard. It's a standard Windows command, and it just means select everything. Now, once the geometry is selected, we want to come up to the top of the screen and select Move. Now, there's two Move commands. This Move command will not copy. This Move command uh, is is for copying geometry. We definitely don't want to copy, so we're going to use this command here. Now, down here at the bottom of the screen, it says Pick Position to Move From. So this is where you decide where you want to actually uh, select this geometry, at which location. But at the same time, you want to think about where you want the datum. So let's say we want to put the datum right in the center of that arc there. So what we're going to do is we're going to left click right there and you'll notice you're at the center of the arc when you get that diamond. I'm going to left click and once I do that I can now drag that part by that arc center. Alright, so now I can take that and I can come over here. Notice at the bottom of the screen it says pick position to move to. I can now come over here and I can just simply uh, snap the datum. Now you'll, you'll know you're on top of the datum when you get that little square marker there. So you just left hand mouse click and there we go. Alright, now I'm still inside the move command so let me demonstrate um, a couple of different ways we can uh, grab or select the geometry. I'll grab this arc center and now I'll come over and grab the datum. Uh, why don't we grab the endpoint? I'll grab this endpoint here, and now we'll snap the datum. We can also grab the midpoint of geometry. I'll grab that, and I'll put that right at the datum. All right. So just remember, uh, if you want to move your geometry so that it's lined up correctly, make sure that you select it first, and then use this move command up here, or you can select transform from within the main toolbar and select move here as well. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to undo everything. I'm hitting Control Z, Control Zebra on the keyboard. That's just like hitting the undo button. And I just want to push this all the way back to where it was at the beginning of this video. Now let's take a look at actually moving the datum, moving the X0, Y0 to the geometry. To do that, simply come over to the NC Manager and right hand mouse click on the toolpath group. Once you do that, you want to select Work Shift. When you select Work Shift, you'll get this small little dialog box. This is simply how do you want to locate the new datum. Do you want to sketch it? Do you want to use coordinates? Do you want to snap an endpoint, arc center, and so on? I'm going to use arc center, and what I'll do is I'll just grab that arc center and left-hand mouse click, and you'll see that little datum marker, and what's neat is that is now X0, Y0, Z0. Let's do that again. We're going to right-hand mouse click, and we'll go to work shift. And this time, instead of arc center, why don't we use endpoint? And that will allow us to digitize an endpoint. That's great. Now, if you want to put this back to the datum, you just repeat the process. Just right hand mouse click, select work shift. But now what you want to use is coordinate input because we want to type in X0, Y0, Z0, and then click OK. The datum marker will disappear, and that means that we're back to the world datum, which is located right here. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.